Hey, what's happening? Tom, NerdRemix.com. A movie today from Jab Pictures, Polly. Uh, as you know, I've uh, been reviewing a lot of stuff from Jab Pictures. Uh, Jason Hoover is nice enough to send me a DVD for Polly. Uh, Spike, the two projects he's done prior to the collective, the uh, really cool anthology horror thing I did, a, I reviewed a couple weeks ago. Polly is based on a true story, I guess. A uh, 24 year old Polly Ramirez Davis spent. Marie Davis spent 186 days in the clutches of a madman, and uh, that's what this centers around. Uh, the name of the actors escapes me, but Jason Hoover, the writer-director, did tell me uh, when he sent me this to, uh, you know, take it easy on the acting because it was uh, some friends of his that he basically counted to be in a movie. Uh, you needn't have worried. Um, the acting's at least on par with, with most, most indie features, especially low-budget and... and uh, I think the performances were actually pretty good. Uh, the problem I had with this movie is it, it takes a while to get into it, and the pacing kind of drags at times. Some set pieces go on a little longer than they probably should have. In fact, I reviewed Spike and Polly, and I think if you made uh, Spike a f almost feature length like Polly, which just runs around 60 minutes, and you made uh, Polly a short film around 15 minutes like, like Spike, uh, you would have like probably be a perfect scenario for me anyway uh, like I said uh, guy kidnaps women uh, tortures them in his basement this centers around Polly who who escapes I don't really want to give that away to you but you know hey anyway uh, shot really well uh, the locations look pretty cool I thought I recognized the basement from one of the shorts in the collective I don't know if I'm right Jason let me know uh, the guy that plays the killer did a really good job. The guy that plays the woman did a really good job. Uh, there's a little bit of nudity. Always points for that. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's there's some pacing problems. Uh, the acting wasn't that bad. Uh, there was some pretty good action, some pretty good set pieces. A um, few gore, good gore effects and uh, you know, pretty solid effort. You can tell uh, that Hoover is finding his footing as far as a filmmaker, and he seems to be progressing really nicely. I've, I've actually got to see, you know, his, his stuff almost order or whatever, you know, at least his first three things that he's done. And uh, he seems to be getting better every time, so, you know, that's a good sign. And uh, Polly, you know, if you want to check it out, check it out. It's good for a, uh, you know, pop it in on a Saturday night and check it out and, you know, maybe eat some popcorn, whatever. But uh, I'm going to give it probably a solid, a solid six and a half out of ten. And, uh, you know, it's a good effort. Like I said, I think it's a little longer than it probably should have been because uh, some of the set pieces, particularly with the string or the twine, you'll, you'll, if you watch, when you watch Polly, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think drug on a little too long. But other than that, pretty solid effort, pretty good serial killer movie. I generally kind of shy away from them because I think all the good ones have been done. But this brings something a little fresh to it, and uh, it works. Six and a half out of ten, it's Polly from Jab Pictures, writer-director Jason Hoover. Check out the website at jetpictures.com. You can pick this up. And you can also pick up Spike, which I thought was really cool. And I'm sure they'll have the collective there as soon as debuting it or on weekend uh, next month or this month. This month. Yeah, it's March. So, anyway, check it out. Six and a half out of ten. I'm Tom. Nerdremix.com. Support independent cinema. Thanks.